for the skirt, I am using Simplicity 2172. I've had this pattern for a long time and haven't used it yet, so I figured this would be a good time. The skirt is very simple, and it is made in a very simple way. The main part of the skirt is just a rectangle. You know how much I love rectangles. I figured out the pattern pieces I need. I have them all cut out. I'm going to adapt this because everything should have pockets. This is done up center back with a zipper. Normally the three pieces would go together something like this. The gathering evened out the center back where they want the zipper to be. But I want to put pockets in. There's already an opening here. I'm thinking, because it's all the same shape for the skirt, of making this the side. To put another pocket in on the other side, simply make a little slit to put a pocket in. Shouldn't be that hard. There should be plenty of volume in this skirt to be able to do that easily. Instead of a zipper, I'm going to have a hook and eye closure at the waistband, and the pocket is going to be built into it. These are all of the pattern pieces for the skirt. The skirt ruffle, it's folded up, it's a lot bigger. I will show you it in its entirety later. The waistband, two skirt yoke pieces, and then the main body of the skirt. That's it. The skirt band trim, pleating, whatever you want to call it. I need to cut out nine of these. There is an awful lot of material that is going to go into this. I haven't done a lot of pleating. This should be lots of fun. Wish me luck. One of the things in the directions, determine finished length before sewing. Usually long skirts from commercial patterns I usually like the length they are on me. They're just a little bit off the ground, but I do want this one to be a little bit shorter. We'll keep an eye on that as we go along and adjust as necessary. This is my material for this outfit. Lovely light blue cotton. I got this entire bolt of material from a thrift store for, I think, $12? Yay, thrifting! Unfortunately, I have not yet pre-washed my material because it's an entire bolt. So I'm going to have to lay out my pattern pieces, figure out a good chunk to cut, zigzag around the raw edges so that it won't fray in the wash. Wash it, dry it, iron it, then I can cut out my material. <sighs> what a process. I know normally you're supposed to follow the cutting layout for optimal use. I don't know what it is about my material, but none of the layouts seem to really work. What I'm going to do instead, do my three skirt pieces. And then there's almost enough room for the skirt band, but not quite. But I don't mind because I want the skirt to be a little shorter. So that is one place where I'm going to save a little bit of material. Uh-oh, I made a boo-boo. One of my skirt panels is too short. Don't care, I'm not gonna scrap this. I'm just going to make the shorter panel the front. Should be fine. The three sections of my skirt are now stitched together. I, of course, didn't follow the directions because it's me. And I want a side closure with a pocket. But I've also decided I'm going to do something I've never done before. I want to properly deal with my seams. I'm going to try to do, I think they're called felled seams. I've seen Bernadette Banner do a number of these. I'm going to try it. First thing I need to do is trim one of the sides here, and then I can do the whole fold it over, tack it down. 
I purposely actually followed the directions and gave myself a really nice big seam allowance just to be able to do this. Why am I doing this? The very first piece of a cosplay I ever made was a skirt for Tifa. And I had no idea what I was doing. It was made out of black canvas. Seemed like good material, but I did nothing to finish my hems. I didn't even know that I should zigzag them. The first time I washed the skirt, I had some fraying. Second time, the fraying reached all the way to the seam. Third time, I washed it. You think I would have learned something from the first two times? No. Third time I washed it, I had pieces of a skirt. I want this costume to not just be something that I wear once or twice in my life at a convention, but to be a practical skirt that I can wear, which means I need to wash this. Got a couple of stitches showing, but I get better. Progress on the skirt band. All of the seams are now nice and felled. They may not be perfect on the right side, but not bad. For the hem, most places I just cheated and used the salvage edge. It's not going to fray. It's fine. The one area where I didn't have salvage, I did turn it under twice so that it won't fray. Pleating is my next task. The pattern says to fold along the solid line, so there'd be a fold here, fold there. Then take that edge to the dotted line. Those are small pleats. Oh, wow. I'm going to measure those. Looks like they should be inch pleats. I've got an idea. My plan for making pleats, I have this cardboard that I can put at the one edge and then just fold it to the line. I have now completed three and a little bit panels of the skirt band and I have completely run out of pins. So I am 
going to baste the pleating that I have done. I'll keep the pins at the bottom for now. Um, and hopefully I can keep doing this process and have enough pins to make this happen. Well, that took me a good chunk of the day. If you ever make this skirt, you need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pins to do the pleats. I didn't have anywhere near enough. Certainly not perfect, but I don't think it's too noticeable, especially once attached to the rest of the skirt, which is my next step. Skirt is attached to the band. The pretty little pleats will probably need to be ironed again before using it, but overall, it's starting to look like a thing. What's the line between laziness and efficiency? I'm not sure, but after spending so much time yesterday with these pleats, my original plan was to have the skirt finished yesterday. Yeah, that didn't happen. I forgot that I wanted to put in pickups, a way to hike up the skirt. My original plan was to embed a piece of ribbon in another ribbon on the good side of the skirt. And then you pull the white ribbon and that draws up the skirt. I'm getting tired of dealing with this skirt. And I'm like, oh, but I have these nice little channels from the seam. Why didn't I just put them in there? Well, why not? Because I felled the seams down, I have a nice little tube that I could run the ribbon through. I just tied my ribbon onto a darning needle, sent it down the seam. I did pop a couple of stitches that I'm going to need to repair. Next, just attaching this ribbon securely to the base here, and then do the same thing for the other front side seam. And I will just do this at the front. The back will be as it is. So here's what it looks like. When I want to hike up the skirt, I simply pull on the one ribbon that will gather it up. And then tie it in a nice little bow so it doesn't come undone. I have made progress on the skirt. It is all gathered up and the waistband is pinned on. I now need to run this through the sewing machine, making sure that I stop where my channels are so that you can still pull it up. Here is where the side opening is going to be. That's where it's going to overlap. Little update on where we're at. I clipped the excess of the material so that the waistband won't be too bulky, folded it over, pinned it down, making sure that I mark where the drawstrings for the skirt hike is, so I don't accidentally sew that in. I did also do a little test of how my pickups were working. They do still work, even though they're now folded under the waistband. This is not a quick change by any means. It does actually take a bit of time to work the ribbon through because the cotton is fairly thick and we're doing it through a channel.
part of my Alice in Wonderland costume finished. Still more to do. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my costuming, crocheting, and history bounding, click that subscribe button. Until next time, have fun and be creative.